Hello, my dear Capricorns. Welcome to your July 2021 monthly predictions. This is Clarity 1129. We will begin with reading out this card, which is from the Vedic Astrology deck, which talks about your characteristics. Capricorn or Makara, ruled by Saturn, and your characteristics are administrative, self-willed, conservative, industrious, persevering, methodical, controlling, structured, and aloof. Place your card there. And we shall follow our usual pattern. We'll take out one card from the Monology deck for your overarching energy for the month. And what do you get? Oh wow, your own card. New moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. Wow. Now doesn't that sound good? This month, we are going to use the original uh, weight. Sorry, not original. Not the universal weight uh, tarot for you. Right. Your general energy for the month, two of pentacles. One other sign got this. Mm, for love and romance, you get the world. For your health, uh, sorry, for your career, you get the eight of swords. For your spiritual growth, you get judgment, all right. And we'll take out one card from the Sacred Indian Tarot for your health. You get the Empress again. Oh, wow. Why do I say again? Because I just finished the um, Sagittarius reading and they've got the Empress as well. All right. But I have shuffled in front of you and it had to come out again. Okay. So are we ready to begin? The overarching energy of the month is your hard work is paying off, my dear Capricorn. So whatever, we know that you are a very hard working sign and you can be very hard on yourself as well. Uh, almost in competition with Virgos um, and you keep working really really hard right and well Saturn is finally uh, your ruler the hard taskmaster and he is happy with you so your hard work is paying off and you're going to see results of that soon however you enter the month with this energy the two of pentacles you're juggling between two things so it's either between work and um, home or between two careers, you know, a main job and a side hustle or between um, two decisions, choices to be made, which way to go, what should you give more priority to. You're basically juggling something, all right? And that's the energy uh, you are in as you enter July. For your love and romance, you get the world. So for singles, if you've been waiting with no one in sight, that waiting is going to end. There's someone else who got this card in this position. Mm, all right. Okay. So that's going to end and your love life is going to blossom. Those who are already partnered or in a committed relationship or in a marriage, um, if you, there is um, a cycle, whatever cycle has been happening, that's going to end. You will either ascend in your relationship, which means if you are in a, par a partnership, you will take it to the next level. Maybe you'll get engaged. If you are already engaged, you might take it to uh, a marriage. And if you're already in a marriage, well, if you're having any uh, 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 lows, you're going to see the ups now. 
and if you're been having a great time then it will be a time for you to ascend meaning there may be a challenge that comes along and that begins a new cycle basically in our lives whichever area of our life it is we work in cycles and when we break a cycle is when we actually ascend all right we learn the lessons and that's how the cycle is broken and we ascend all right for your career and finances you get the eight of swords and what does the eight of swords say eight of swords can you see this person when swords actually represent thoughts they're not actual swords all right so the eight of swords shows this lady who's bound by nothing but her own self-limiting beliefs and it is your thinking that is not going to help you that is stopping you from moving ahead in your career all right maybe you are conservative in your thinking or you are extremely controlling of the outcome that you want something in the way that you want it and if you don't want it you are not willing to look at another option you know if you've got a job at hand and you think that this is the best way to do it then even if there is another way you want to carry on doing it in the same way despite the fact that you're a cardinal sign and actually you are not averse to change but once you make up your mind it's a little difficult for you to change your mind all right so and this is what you're being asked to guard against because in your finance and career if there is anything that is holding you back from your full potential it is your own uh, self-limiting beliefs all right and you can come out of this so you're putting in a lot of work and the overarching energy is that your hard work is paying off and i have a feeling these two cards are connected what you are juggling with has got to do with your thoughts a lot all right and you are wanting to stick with what your original um, uh, say plan was but you're not seeing the results the way you want it and yet you're not uh, wanting to let go of that but you may have to get out of your comfort zone and try something else and it will benefit you because finally your hard work is paying off so at the end of the day you are going to reap rewards for all the effort that you've put in all right so just change your thinking a bit sometimes it's difficult to let go of our stubborn habits you know because we are so sure that we are right but even if we are right maybe at that particular time if we just get a little more flexible things will work out even better for us all right for your spiritual growth you get the beautiful judgment whatever is going to happen that will move you forward on your spiritual journey at this time is destined uh, you don't have to do anything for it it will just happen to you it can be an intuitive hit that you have it can be in a dream but you are going to have some sort of spiritual awakening and you don't really have to do anything about it because it's going to happen on its own all right and it's going to prove you forward on your journey all right for your health you get the beautiful empress which says that you have to uh, give some time of dedicated self-care for yourself all right and if there is something wrong you have a slight cold or a slight niggle here and there uh, you can use natural remedies and cure yourself there's going to be nothing major yes if you're trying to have babies this is the right time for it you the chances are that you can get pregnant and because you are going to be extremely fertile this month with the empress card and if you're not planning to have babies then you uh, should be careful because chances are that you can uh, actually conceive during this time all right the empress is extremely fertile whether it's uh, you know if you get it at in any other sector also um, it say talks about creativity to be able to birth any idea into being so in the health sector it talks about uh, childbirth all right so with that we come to the end of your basic reading now we shall ask the angels so if there's any urgent question any pressing question on your mind you know any doubt about should i do this shouldn't i do this this energy that you are in which way should i go 
what can I do to leave this? Whatever the question is, my dear Capricorns, keep that question in your mind as I ask the angels to give you an answer. Now the angel is ready. Are you ready? All right, let's just pull this one out. And the answer is no. Oh, oh. I think Scorpio's got a no for something. So I hope you were not waiting for a yes and you were waiting for a no. And that way you'll be happy. Now, if you have a time specific question, okay, when will this happen? When will things change? When will I start traveling? When will I, uh, when will this, whatever situation of mine end? This is the month, April next year. Don't curse me. The card said April. And in the month of July 2021, which area of your life is going to see major change, maximum change? And you get wealth. Wow. And you break the cycle of all those zodiacs up till now. You're the 10th, right? All of them have either got happiness or love. And you get wealth. So that's a lot of money coming your way. Your hard work is paying off. All right. So that is what I have for you, my dear Capricorns. Till next month, take care, be good, have a great July. Bye-bye.